keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, Chris here again from racingbetdata.com. Um, since we've relaunched the site with all the new features and functions, we've had some real positive feedback. Um, it's been great to hear some of the, um, the emails and the, feed, the inquiries and comments, both direct to us and through social media that we've been getting. So that's really positive uh, and means that the, the work and the effort that we've put in feels like it's, it's paying off and uh, users are being rewarded um, and also getting a, a better product. Now, um, in terms of the monthly mailbag, we're probably going to wrap that up because a lot of the issues that we were getting, certainly the repeat ones, have now been resolved, uh, primarily down to the, the relaunch of the sites, so the login issues that we're continually getting, um, the, the, the not filling out the form. Those have all been uh, accounted for now um, when when you're now directed to the, uh, the the live site with all the updates included. But what we will do from time to time is uh, do a, a unique video because perhaps some of the, the content was getting lost when we were um, condensing it into one monthly summary. Perhaps people weren't um, finding or seeing solutions to, to issues that they may be having within that monthly video. So I think what we'll do is pick out unique um, inquiries and requests and questions that we get throughout the month and do a one-off video based on those so they're a bit more specific and bespoke. So the one we're going to do here, we sort of already covered this, but I'm going to go through it again. Uh, this is where we're getting people asking, how do we use uh, the site to create a profitable system? So it's a bit of a loose question um, and one that I'm going to show you an example of how you can test. Now, we're not really in a position to be replying or putting it out on social media or um, out on the website. If you do X, Y, Z, this will be profitable uh, when the conditions of A, B, C are met. Can you imagine if we did that, uh, we'd have several hundred members who would likely all want to follow and um, understandably replicate that. That would then spread as well tenfold. And any edge potentially that was there would likely be eroded once that had reached a sort of audience of that size. So we don't offer and understandably, and this is why things like tipsters and, you know, you've got to question the um, the credibility really of, of anyone offering tips, certainly if they're charging for it, because, you know, tips and systems are all based around value um, and extracting value and finding an edge um, and once that system or strategy becomes mainstream, that edge is likely to be eroded away, either on a betting exchange by um, the price moving in the wrong direction and therefore no longer being value, or if you're using bookmakers because of the reduction in odds that bookmakers make because of the weight of money going on there. So what we provide is the data, the output. Um, you're able to filter it. Um, you're able to test it. Um, and you're able to check it and monitor it. And that's our role. And then you as an individual can hone in specifically on something that's unique to you where you believe you find an edge. Um, and if you want to share that with um, however many people you want, that's entirely up to you. But our advice to members who come to us and advise things that they've achieved and done and are testing is keep it to yourself because you know other people are not likely to be sharing that with you. By all means, help and assist other people but giving away the actual crux of what you've developed and are, are using, um, probably not recommended. So anyway, let's get to the dashboard. And I'm going to put in here. So somebody's given me some loose criteria. And I'm going to use this as in the example. Um, now, you've got to also consider when testing a system, why, why are you excluding or including certain things in your system? So where's the logic behind it? Now, in this example, I'm going to select the uh, track Utoxita only. Uh, and we're going to be looking at odds range um, between 1.01. Uh, .01. So this is the Betfair starting price up to three. OK, so somebody's asked if this is a long term profitable system. So we've looked at track Utoxita with a starting um, SP of Betfair odds is between 1.101 .01 and three. And the day of the week is well, it's a weekend. So they want to test it on a Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and we're going to look back over the last 10 years or so. Um, so you've got to 
think while developing a system like what what would be different on a Saturday and Sunday? Now, if there's some logical reason, say for instance the 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 the, the class of the race is different, or uh, they run the other way around the track, or it's shorter um, distance racing, perhaps there's some credibility behind why you would exclude other days of the week. But if it's purely because the day of the week starts with an S or it's the weekend, you've got to sort of think, well, is there any logic or is that just a, a random pattern of data? So I'm going to click submit and output this. So last 10, 12 years worth of data, Utoxeter, where horses had an SP of between uh, 101 and 3, um, and it was a, a Saturday or a Sunday. So I'm going to export this to screen first of all and show you how we can start testing and developing this system. So you can see here we've output of 424 um, horses, which isn't a massive significant uh, number of um, horses to test against. And we scroll down to the profit and summary using these little arrows, and you can see here uh, that that would or has actually generated a profit of 261 units to a 10 unit stake, so 26 points. Um, and the return on income yield is 6.19%. So to all intents and purposes, you look at that and think, well, yeah, that's a profitable system. Um, the next step is then to say, right, how do we actually test that for st statistical significance? Now, what we've done on the website is offer a free um, tool within the example downloads that you can download called... Um, Statist statistical relevance, okay? So I'm not going to navigate to that and because I'm going to lose all of the output that I've got here that will allow me to um, to test and check, all right? But I have got this file open in the background, so I'm just going to pop it open on the screen now. So you can see here, um, we've got some shaded green cells and all you need to do as a user is populate these five cells and it will give you a score of how significant uh, this system or strategy is um, and whether the likelihood of it being profitable over the last 10, 12 years is down to skill or whether it's down to luck. So I'm just going to go back to the, um, the web page here. So what we need to do, we, we need to enter first is the total number of horses. So horses in this instance, this um, statistical relevance sheet can be used for football or for any sport, really, as long as you've got these um, five criterias um, and outputs. So we need the total number of horses, which is 422. Uh, and number of bets, 422. And then we need to input the number of winners. So from this output, you can see that there were 200 winners, okay, with odds. So we're only obviously after horses that had odds. Now, you might have, your eye might have been drawn to the fact that the number of races was 382. And why didn't we, um, why didn't we enter that rather than 422? Well, it's quite simple, really, because in the, some of these instances, so 40 occasions, there would have been 40 horses that ran where the, where the SPs of below three, there were two or more, perhaps, in the same race. So the number of races was 382, but horses meeting the criteria, 422. And you can also see that horses started the race with 424, but what that's suggesting is that there's a, there are two horses where the, there wasn't a valid bet for SP. OK, so the starting price, either the market or Betfair was down for whatever reason, but there was no bet for SP for those. So this is the, the key one that we need to use. Horses with odds, 422. And then the winners with odds is around 200. So we can put 200 in there. And that calculates our strike rate. Now we need the yield, the average odds, and the expected winners. So the yield we can get, uh, which is 6.19%. And we can enter this in here. Now, the average odds, we need to export this to Excel. So we can scroll back to the top here and send this to Excel. And this will create the Excel output. And it's a very simple um, method to be able to get the average odds once this is opened. And then we just need to do a little bit of formula in a cell to the uh, or column to the right. And that will allow us to uh, calculate the um, expected win probability. So I'm just going to open this output. It's going to display on the screen here. And what we can do is hover over the Betfair SP column, select it, and you can see down the bottom there the average is 2.33. So we can now input that onto our statistical relevance sheet, average odds 
Uh, and that's already populated our p-value. And we've also got the Archie score. And you've got a bit of text to the right here that gives you a bit more detail behind these. And you can obviously, you know, depending on your knowledge of these, you can uh, go on the, uh, on, the, on the net, onto a ser search engine, find out a bit more. But this covers basically what you're looking for, OK? Now, the expected winners, again, there's another box here. This is the expected winners. This tells you how to calculate this. It's the sum of all the odds probabilities. And I need to put an extra D in there. There's a typo. Uh, so to calculate uh, this, you need a new column, and you do a simple sum of 1 divided by BSP for every row, and then you do a sum of that. So I'm going to show you how you can do that here. So let's call back up this uh, odds row. Now what I'm going to do first is take out these two blanks, uh, because that would throw an error. Now you can build a bit of formula in there and put if error is blank, but safest thing to do is just to filter that data. So I'm going to put expected win in here. And now we can do a simple sum of 1 equals 1 divided by Betfair SP. And you'll see that in the formula bar. Hit Enter, and that automatically populates. And again, you can select that whole column, and that gives you a sum down the bottom. So 189.95. And that's what we need to enter into our statistical relevance. 189.95, that was correct, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So we now have this full sheet populated. OK, and now what's it telling us? So we've already got standard deviation, the t, uh, t statistic calculated, uh, the p-value. And these are the key elements. So the p-value uh, is 13.69%. Now you can see here that it's saying a p-score, or p-value below 5% gives moderate evidence against the thesis that you yield as a result of chance. So you, once you get this below 5%, you can start thinking, well, maybe there is something in this, and I need to monitor it for a bit longer to get um, a, a larger data set, because it's relatively small. Um, but then a p-score below 1% is considered strong evidence. Um, and then anything under 0.1 is very strong. So the lower this score here, the better. Uh, and what we've done is inverse this. So what it's saying is the, it's a 1 in 7 probability um, that this system that we've created would uh, uh, arrive in chance one in seven times. Okay, So not really considered a strong system, which we wouldn't expect because there's not a lot of logic behind it. Moving on to the Archie score. Um, so we've qualified with enough bets. Um, and then we're looking at the Archie score is just under one. So what we're saying here is we need an Archie score of five. So the higher, the better on this one. Um, and an Archie score of five would represent a probability of roughly two and a half percent that your method that you've selected was just down to chance or skill. You can see here it's, it's just under 50 percent. So it's basically a coin flip. So again, it's saying it's not really significant. The, ch the, the, the system that we've created that's profitable is 50-50 is really, that it was down to chance or skill rather than luck. OK, so again, you need a bigger sample size. Uh, finally, down the bottom, so this plot area here. So this is where our, our yield is currently sitting at the moment. Sorry, uh, our p-value is currently sitting, 13.69%. Now, to get it down to a strong um, evidence, you want it to get to 1%, so that's the green line. And you can track here the number of bets. So this is where we are at the crosshair here, about 420. So we're at 422. This is where we are. Now, what it's saying here is that to get to 1%, you need to be looking at around 1880. So that's the number of bets. And for that yield, the strike rate, the odds to, to remain as they are, that's the sample size you need. So you need almost three times as much data as you've got already for this to be considered strong evidence. Now, you can see how you can measure this on the, uh, the left-hand side. So the, um, the p-value, if we scroll down and look for 1%, and uh, so we hit that around, like I said, it's around the 1880s to 1900 bets. That's the point where you can rely on the evidence to be statistically significant. So I hope this video helps, uh, helps you understand a little bit more. Like I said, I'm skimming the surface. There's more info in here to read. There's more on the web to digest. But this file is provided free of charge, and you can use it in conjunction with the data from our sites.